So today we're back in St. Louis. We had such good luck in St. Louis and this is the one that is on the north side. So I guess technically it's not St. Louis, it's this town. But we are up back here today. Can't wait to see what the Midwest has in store for us. So let's go see. All right, St. Louis, let's see what you got. I picked this up because obviously it's old and I thought maybe it was Haviland, but it doesn't look like it. Pretty, but no lid, so I guess I'll put it back. Ew, these are exceptionally gross. I think this is just absolutely gorgeous and if I wasn't traveling, I would definitely pick this up. Stress if you've gotten into a row where there's already been a whole bunch of other resellers or people that you think might be resellers. Because I just went through this whole row and had shoes and purses and belts, and I was no less than three other resellers that were going through it, and I found a whole bunch of stuff. So some nice things. And one of them even said, Oh, you found a Dooney Burke. See? They miss stuff and they're looking for different things, so don't stress, just go through the bin. I really look pretty today though. I, well, I was in the bathroom and I'm like, good lord, I look so pretty. Well, I think that this is part of being a Yeah, definitely. I've got a couple things on there, so things that people have a um, like a little bodysuit that's all multicolored. I thought it was the most adorable things. Yeah. It seems like the stuff that I'm thinking is going to that's what people want. But I'm afraid people are like, oh my god, that's so cute. Or embroidered. Or more than absolutely. Yes. So will you share with me your Poshmark closet? closet? Oh, will I share my closet online? Sure. Will you send it to me? Sure, sure. absolutely. And I'll, I'll... It's getting close to the end of the day, so I better get to sorting. Okay, so I only found this one Sorel boot. Let's go back and see if we can find the other one later. While I'm sorting, of course I'm always looking for flaws or stains or holes or things that I can't repair myself, and I'm checking the comps. I'm looking at other similar sold items to see how much other people are willing to pay for them. Now that we've sorted, let's see if we can go find that Sorel boot. I've been looking for the match to these all afternoon. I've even asked other people if they've seen it, but I just can't find it. And now that they're getting ready to close and I've looked high and low for the match, I guess I'm going to have to leave this one behind. I always love coming home to the Midwest and seeing what they have for us here. So thank you, St. Louis. We had a great time. If you had a good time, please give me a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. So subscribe and give that bell a click so that you can get a notification when I have another video coming out. You never know where I'm going to be next. So thank you, St. Louis. And that was very fun. It's always fun to go to the bins um, in St. Louis. So let me show you what I found. Um, 
I found a small load and I'll let you know how much I spent on everything at the end. So stay tuned for that. So in St. Louis, uh, they open in the morning for a couple hours, close for a couple hours over lunch, and then open again for a few more hours. So I was in there for the afternoon session. Not a whole day to pick, which was still fun. And I did get a small little load. I hope you guys are out there finding all kinds of great stuff too and having a good time doing it. So let me, let me show you, let's, let's start. You know, I am kind of a sucker for a backpack. I wear a backpack whenever we uh, go thrifting because I like to have my money right there with me. This one is in great condition and I like it that it has a water bottle pocket on it. I always have my water with me to put that little Nalgene in. Good pocket to put your keys in, good pocket to put your money in, and it's padded so if I wanted to put like an iPad or something in there I could. So this one's for me. Ah, isn't it always the way you find the Tory Burch bag but no Tory Burch shoes, no Tory Burch purse. I'll keep this um, and have it when and if I find a pair of Tory Burch shoes or a cute little purse. So it's always nice to have those. It does seem to help the value of the items whenever I find them if I have both pieces there or the duster bag to make the value a little bit better for my, for my items. Oh, I thought this was... This was a little confusing at first, but it is a swim top from Aerie. And I like the way it looks and it's pretty new. I do think that it will sell well and it is swimsuit season. So I find that swimsuits sell all year long. It's always good to have them up in February when people are going on vacation. So I will have that listed no matter what time of year it is. Who doesn't love gold flats? <laughs> so these are Louis AC. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but uh, they've got a little bit of wear to them, but I think that they're still cute, still trendy, still has a current style to them. So I'll probably um, expect to get about mm, $25, $30 for these. I never, almost never pass up a Duluth. Duluth Trading Company has quality items. I really like them. Um, this one is a medium. It's got this fleece lining. I think that this is a, um, I think that this is a men's medium, but I like it that it's the fleece lined. And you know, if you've ever looked at Duluth in the retail sense, not always cheap. Again, quality items. And I do think that I'll probably get 25 or $30 for that too. Cute little athleta top. You can see that little tag in the back. I don't see a size in that, which might be a little bit of an issue because the tags have been cut out. Um, but I'll just lay it out, measure it. But I, I think this is probably an extra large. Um, but I like the color. It's in good condition, very little pilling. Last few things, guys. Oh, yay, reversible Lululemon bike shorts and this is an this is an older style of the bike shorts but they're a size eight which is a great size they're reversible um and they're in pretty good condition as well there's no stains very little pilling on them very little cleanup for me to do so i'm just going to throw these in the washer um, and get them up on my ebay beer bradley tote this is a nice big tote new with tags um, it says it's a family tote. Original MSRP on it was $68. So even if I only got $14.99 for it, it doesn't weigh much. So when I get it in the bins, it's a good return on my money. Lastly, ah, a Duty Burke. Isn't it cute? And it's a vintage. Um, look how nice that duck is on there. Aww, I like it. It was in the bottom of a bin where two or three other resellers had already been through. So don't be intimidated if other resellers have been in some of those same bins. Maybe they're looking for something different. Maybe they're gonna overlook the Dooney Burke. So um, don't worry about going through a bin that somebody else has already been through. You'll, you're gonna find stuff. So this one I probably expect to get 40 or 50, maybe more for. Um, check my eBay. It'll be on there, and uh, even if it's not available for sale anymore, you can probably go in and see what it sold for. 
So if you need the link to my eBay, it's in the description below. And I've recently done the eBay affiliate program. So when you click on that, it benefits me too. That's everything I found. Let me tell you how much it cost. So I did everything by the pound. I didn't have anything that was separated out. So it was um, $1.19 a pound. Here's their pricing. Um, so I spent uh, $18.09. So that's not that bad. I think that we'll be able to make that back up on probably the Vera Bradley purse alone. Maybe even the Duluth or the Athleta. Everything, everything we got, we could probably make our money back on just that one item. So really happy with that. Everything um, down in St. Louis was a good time. Fun to meet new friends. You can see her Poshmark closet down here. Nice to see her again. I've seen her in another video. You can catch that video right here. And I hope you do. I hope to see you guys again. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything and it really benefits me. Uh, make sure you get a subscription. Again, it really helps my algorithms. Leave a comment. I love the interaction. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the bins.